Hi, my name is Matt Reisinger of the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. I want to talk to you briefly today about sheathing options for a custom home. There's a lot of houses built in America with this uh, product called Thermoply, which is in effect uh, a super strong and durable cardboard. In my opinion, this is really not a great product for uh, sheathing on a house. Really, there's two good options uh, for a single family custom home that you're building. OSB or plywood. OSB has uh, been used a ton in America uh, since it was introduced, and it, it is really generally a very good sheathing choice. I don't know if you can tell from the photo, but it's strands of wood that are glued together, and it, it makes a perfectly flat and very stable four by eight sheet. In America, prior to OSB's introduction, plywood was the standard. These are, this is a much more solid wood product um, that, was, uh, that was basically peeled from a tree in a circular fashion and then glued together. If you look at the two, there's a lot more solid wood in this plywood. This is actually, uh, this particular piece is 7 16 or half inch, and it looks like it's about four to five plies of wood together. And if you look at this one, this makes better use of the tree. Every part and piece of the tree is being used in this OSB. But in general, the wood is more broken down and OSB is more susceptible to water damage in the long term. It also is less permeable and will soak up less water. If it soaks up water, it's really not gonna, not gonna fare well in time. Plywood can soak up a little bit of water. It's also a little bit more permeable. However, if you compare the prices of the two, you'll quickly realize why most builders have gone to OSB. Plywood is, in general, more than double the cost. And so for a single family house, you may be talking not just hundreds of dollars, but thousands of dollars to go from OSB to plywood. So I'll show you what I do on my houses a lot of the time to get kind of the benefits of both. And here's a good example. This is a slab on grade construction, new home. Uh, we're in Austin, Texas. Here's the uh, concrete slab. The, the slab actually stops right here. And then what we do is this two foot section on the bottom of the house is really the most vulnerable section on a house. We're using uh, plywood in this section, but not, not even standard plywood. We're using pressure treated plywood. This plywood is made um, for actually boat docks and outdoor locations. It's very termite resistant. It's also very water resistant. And this bottom two feet of the house, if you remodel houses in Texas that are 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, this is where 90% of the damage occurs. The other place that you see a lot of damage on houses is below window sills. So what I like to do is use pressure treated plywood on the bottom section, and then from there up, I go to OSB. And of course, the other thing that we really wanna do when we build a new custom home is weatherized correctly. The water control layer is super important. And so on top of this, we're gonna go with uh, DuPont's uh, commercial drain wrap or commercial D uh, for our weatherization barrier. And again, that bottom section is so vital that we've decided that we're gonna protect the bottom 12 inches of this with an additional ceiling. We're using Carlisle's uh, CCW, I think this is number 705. And we put a primer on the foundation and a primer on the plywood and we've stuck this on the bottom 12 inches. About three inches of that or so is overlapping onto the concrete. So if some water is coming down on, on my exterior cladding, we're, we have no uh, exposed plywood to that water. This also is gonna do a good job of air sealing. Check my future videos and I'll tell you about the Siga wig glove tape for air sealing. But in general, no matter whether you choose plywood or OSB, do a precision job on your weatherization. And I think if you use this method, you kind of get the best of both worlds. Ultimately, if budget were no uh, issue, I'd recommend half inch plywood. I think it's in general a better product, but we, we always work with budgets. So this is a really good method to get the best of both worlds. Thanks for joining me everybody. We'll see you next time.